Hello, Akako. It's Pastor Keith uh, coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town here in the island of Oahu. And this is morning prayer for the fourth day of Christmas, December 28th, 2022. It's a Wednesday. And today is also a commemoration or feast day for the holy innocents, the little martyrs of Bethlehem who were uh, killed when King Herod tried uh, to find Jesus and uh, get rid of him. The uh, parents had been uh, warned in a dream to get the heck out of town, and so they fled to Egypt. This came after the wise men, the Magi, had visited Jesus and were warned in a dream not to tell Herod where Jesus was. Hence, Herod's furious response. Hear these words from Matthew 2. Now after they, the Magi, had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt. Remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled, because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. The coming of Jesus shook the world, and some of it was tough. Stephen the martyr died on Monday. And John, the apostle and evangelist, we celebrated yesterday. And today, one that we don't spend a whole lot of time talking about on Sundays because it kind of makes us, in our sentimentality, a little squeamish. But Jesus' coming brought many crosses to many people, including holy innocence. E pule kaka, let us pray. We remember today, O God, the slaughter of the innocent children of Bethlehem by order of King Herod. Receive into the arms of your mercy all innocent victims. By your great might, frustrate the designs of evil tyrants and establish your rule of justice, love, and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. One final thought, Jesus' parents, Jesus, were refugees from political violence, religious strife. They were immigrants from a small, poor country to the great imperial power of Egypt. Hmm, sounds like a southern border I know of. We have children struggling all over the world, a lot with hunger famine in Somalia and Ethiopia. We have children fleeing gang violence. We have children here who are depressed and have suicidal ideations because of the pandemic and the failure of of school systems and healthcare systems and communities at large to care for them. That's where we find Jesus, with the children who are suffering, who are in need. And so, Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the magi by a star, bless you this day through the word made flesh. Amen.